bought the Spurred Chaps and picture of my uncle. He was born in 1910, about three years old it looked like when he was wearing these. That I don't see on the Spurs is the silver and pavos. I believe the Rouse are a coin, cut out coin. Mm, this is the right? and, his, and his name is uh, Jack Burke, which is inlaid in silver across yes, there. Where do you reckon those spurs came from? Mexico, I think, because of the centavos. He's not wearing the shafts in the photograph. Right. I wish he was, but he's not. These are shotgun shafts, they're called, and they're real typical of the trail drive era. Then the styles changed to those big bat wing shafts that you probably grew right. up with and that I'd seen, but these narrow shotgun styles are real old style. I've never seen a pair this small. I think they were made for him. They're too unusual. So they kind of had him dressed like an old style cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> now the Spurs. They're not from Mexico. The fact that they have Mexican coins on the buttons, uh -huh. the way the engraving is with his name on the side, the five-pointed star rail, it's all the hallmarks of an Italian spur maker in Victoria, Texas named Joe Bianchi. He made spurs for everybody who was anybody and everybody who was nobody in South Texas. He made them for cowboys, ranchers, some of the biggest ranchers you've ever heard of in Texas. Your uncle's wearing the spurs in that photograph, which is a neat documentation of them in use. They're the smallest Bianchi spurs I've ever seen. The shaps, if they were marked, would be worth more, but as it is, they're probably worth 1,200 to 1,500, which is pretty good for little kids' clothes. Oh. The spurs are easily worth the same. So we're talking $2,400, $3,000. It's great stuff, and child's gear is particularly desirable right now.